Welcome to episode 208, Masayoshi san from losing $70 billion to investing $100 billion. This is an outline of episode 208. Recap from last episode 207 how he lost $70 billion in dot com bubble in 2000. How did you feel losing $70 billion of net worth? I was so close to. You know, fall down from the cliff. We almost went bankrupt. Masayoshi san is an important stage thinker. Other famous stage thinkers are Karl Marx, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Carlos Slim, and Jack Ma. Please see my episode 195. In my age of 19, I created 50 years my life plan. Since then, he had invested in 1,300 companies. Most of them failures, of course. Very broadly, these are the four most important stages. Stage number one, the PC stage. Stage number two, the internet age. Stage number three, the mobile internet age. Stage number four, singularity age. And now the mobile internet age. Masayoshi san was even a little bit ahead of Steve Jobs in 2005. Apple boss with a drawing of mobile enabled iPod. Jobs threw it back, laughing that he didn't need a shitty little drawing. Apple was working on its own. So, Son said, Well, I don't need to give you my dirty paper, but once you have your product, give it to me for Japan. Jobs agreed. He had nothing to lose. The iPhone didn't even exist, and Son didn't own a mobile network at that time. But he soon would. SoftBank would buy out and rename Vodafone Japan's network in late 2006. Months later, he had the iPhone exclusive. That sounds great now, but in 2007, the device wasn't such a sure thing. The Alibaba investment. This is the most successful investment in the world. And then you decide at some point to start investing. One of the investments you made is considered by many people to be the most successful investment in the history of mankind. You invested roughly $20 million in Alibaba, and at the time it went public, it was worth roughly $90 billion. So $20 million to $90 billion is a return of about 4,500%. Now, Jack Ma is a very distinguished individual now, now one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world. What is it that made you feel this was worth putting in $20 million? Well, he had no business plan <laughs> and、uh, zero revenue.、Uh, employees, maybe 35, 40 employees. But his eyes w a s very strong, strong eyes, strong, shining eyes.、Um, I could tell from the way he t a l k the way he l o o k at, he has a charisma, he has a leadership. So, his business model was wrong. It's the way he talked, the way you know, he can bring you know, young、uh, Chinese people following him. In 2013, he took over Sprint for $21 billion to fly ATT and Verizon in the United States. Yeah, well, you know, in this market, it's dominated by Verizon and ATT, so Sprint is a distant third. It's a huge move. For SoftBank and Sprint to、uh, be kind of relevant in this market. You know, I think、uh, what, what Masayoshi Sun's ambition is to be number one in the world. In 2016, SoftBank completed the purchase of ARM, a chip design company based in UK, for $31.4 billion. The world was shocked. This was the biggest ever purchase of a European technology company. Recently, You did the biggest investment you've ever made in a company called ARM, yeah, which arm, is yeah. ARM, which is a semiconductor manufacturer based in London. Why did you spend $31 billion buying a semiconductor manufacturer when many people think that that's not the future? It's、uh, actually $34 billion. $34. Yeah. It's not the manufacturer, it's a design, design house. They design all the chip, chipset. They have 99% market share for any smartphone that you have in your pocket. Is ARM has 99% market share. The $100 billion Vision Fund in 2017. I'm asking you about a fund that you are now raising, the Vision Fund. It's supposed to be a fund of $100 billion. Now, that would be the biggest fund ever raised. 
So when you told people you were going to raise a $100 billion fund, did they tell you you were a little crazy? Well, some people said. You had a meeting with a man who was the deputy crown prince of Saudi Arabia, who's now the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. And as I understand the story, you went in, and in one hour, you convinced him to invest $45 billion. No, no, it's not true. OK. <laughs> 45 minutes, $45 billion. OK, sorry. OK, I apologize. In other words, so if you had had one, 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 one billion dollars per minute, <laughs> what could you have said that was that persuasive to get forty-five billion in one meeting? Well, actually, uh, I said I give you a trillion dollars. But what is it that you told people? What was the vision that you actually gave them? So, one vision, which is singularity. Singularity is the concept that the computing power. Computers, artificial intelligence surpass uh, mankind's brains. Today, already, computer is smarter than mankind for chess or go or weather forecast. To some expert systems, computer is already smarter. But in 30 years, most of the subject that we are thinking, they will be smart. I have a vision. I have a vision of singularity that's really coming. So we create a vision fund, right? We go and change the world together and create a better world. In 2017, his vision is to invest $10 billion in India in the next 10 years. Well, uh, if I rescale, I will only scale up. OK. So what could 10 become? At least uh, in the last one year, We've already invested almost $2 billion. Mm -hmm. So if I have said $10 billion in 10 years, I have already done $2 billion in one year. But what have I learned today? I have chronicled the most important investment of SoftBank, iPhone, Alibaba, Sprint, ARM, and finally, Vision Fund. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Masayoshi Sun 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.